Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys on how to install DLSS 2 and 3 for Starfield in a step-by-step -step format. Anyways, let's get right into the video. First of all, we need to download all mod files that are needed to make DLSS work. These are Starfield Upscaler, Upscaler Base Plugin, and also NVIDIA's DLSS.dll file. Alright, now let's head to Starfield Upscaler's Nexus mod page, and under Files, there will be two main files that you can choose from. One is Starfield Upscaler Reshade version, and the other one is a standalone version. The main difference between the two is that the Reshade version, you will be able to adjust the DLSS settings in-game, while the standalone version will be only adjustable through a .ini file. Next, we will now download Upscaler Base plugin. Under the file tab of the mod page, all you need to do is download the main file. Lastly, we now need to download NVIDIA's DLSS.dll file. A link in the description should take you to this website. And for this video, I'll be downloading version 3.5.0. But if you have an older card, I think it would be better to get the 2.5.1 version, as it is more stable. Anyways, after clicking the version you want, all you need to do now is choose the right server and that's it. Now next step is to locate your Starfield's game root folder. And we can do this by opening Steam, right click Starfield, and under Manage, click Browse Local Files. Next is to open Starfield Upscaler, the file that we just downloaded. And then drag its files into Starfield's game root folder basically where the starfield.exe can be found. Next up, open Upscaler Base Plugin and move the folder into the Mods folder. And lastly, for the DLSS.dll file, under Mods, open up Upscaler Base Plugin folder and place the DLSS.dll file into it. Inside the mods folder, there will be a .ini file called Starfield Upscaler, which is basically our configuration file for DLSS. And take note that if you download the standalone version, this is where you can customize your settings like changing to DLSS, FSR2, XESS, and DLA. And under preset, this is where you can read what every preset does. So it's up to you to choose which preset you want to use. Now, for those who got the reshade version, it's now time to open the game. Once you open up Starfield, at the very top of the screen, a reshade message should pop out, letting you know that reshade has been successfully installed. All you need to do next is to press the reshade menu hotkey, which is the home key. And once you open the reshade menu, click on add-ons and we should see Starfield Upscaler. Make sure the box is checked. You can also find additional information here. Once you're done, exit the reshade menu and press the N key to open up the Upscaler menu. In this menu, we can enable or disable the plugin, change the Upscaler type and even the DLSS preset. Again, to know what each preset does, open up the Starfield Upscaler.ini to check which preset is suitable for you. Now, let's head to the settings and make sure to switch upscaling to CAS and change the resolution value to 75% and there you go. And now, if you have a 40 series card and to those who have subscribed to Pure Dark's Patreon, there is now a beta build for DLSS 3. If you have installed previous DLSS versions, all you first need to do is delete d3d12.dll and dxgi.dll. If not, simply extract the DLSS tree files to the game root folder. Alright, now we need to go in game, then settings, and enable FSR2 and disable dynamic resolution. Then press the N key to open up the menu, which then you will need to authenticate for the first time. And finally, in the mod menu, enable DLSS2 and DLSS FG, and that's basically it. 
Take note that there's also a hotkey for you to toggle them under the Starfield Upscaler.ini. If you're wondering what's the main difference between DLSS 2 and DLSS 3, is that DLSS 3 supports frame generation, meaning having a lot more FPS compared to DLSS 2, but you will need a 40 series card. So yeah, I hope this video helped you guys out and I will be posting a lot more mods for Starfield. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe to my channel for more Starfield content. Stay safe everyone and have a great day. Till next time.